Hey guys, it's Lee Kalpakis, and we just made a tasty taco dinner party all for just under $30. So stick around and see how we helped our Australian buddy Will win over his roommates and cook a delicious dinner. Hey everybody, we're here in Ridgewood, Queens again, and we're about to meet up with Will. He just moved to New York City from Australia, and he's trying to impress his roommates with a homemade dinner. So let's see if this dude from Down Under can keep from going over our $30 budget. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Living in Australia, working back there, I just needed a bit of a change of pace and uh, thought I'd come over here and see what all the fuss is about. I got a job in a demolition company, actually. You ever ex make anything explode? Yeah, we blow stuff up all the time. Yeah, I throw up. in dynamite into the building. I never get to blow anything up at my job. Oh, it's good. I it's really like to. How's it been making friends? Oh, I heard that yeah. New Yorkers were extremely friendly people, but... Really? Yeah, it seems my roommates haven't quite warmed up to me for some reason. They're always going on about the last guy that lived here. Super good roommate. Always cooking for the family. It seems to be uh, big shoes to fill, but. That why you want to throw this dinner party? The last guy that lived here used to always make tacos for the guys. So yeah, I think uh, something like that. We yep. can do some carnitas. We can do pork tacos. How do you feel about that? Beautiful. We can do some refried beans, a slaw to go along with it so it's really bright and fresh. I feel like we okay. have to give him some booze. Okay. Like a punch. Juice them up a little right? bit. I think your roommates would love that. What do you think? I think that'll be great for okay. sure. They'll love it. Cool. Welcome back to the Thrillist Kitchen. We're about to get started on our taco feast. That was good. Thank nice you. job. Let's start with our carnitas, which translates to Lil Meats, which is my rapper name. I have about three pounds of pork shoulder, and I'm gonna add some kosher salt, some cumin, and a little bit of black pepper. Work our seasoning into the pork till everything is coated. Our pork is ready for a sear. Quarter cup of oil in the pan. Put that in there. Yeah, and our pan is super hot. We want everything to be nice and golden brown on either side. Mm -hmm. When we sear the meat, it locks in all the flavor on the inside. So let's go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients, okay? Cool. Let's add our two chipotle peppers. Beautiful, and that's gonna give it a little bit of spice and make it nice and smoky. Half a white onion, yep. and our four garlic cloves. Go ahead and add our water. It's gonna allow our pork to completely fall apart, so it's okay. really nice and soft and tender. Tender town. So la tender town, yeah, I like that, no tender it. town. <laughs> last step is go ahead and add a cup of our beer. Stir in our liquids a little bit and let them hang out for about an hour or so and then we're gonna check up on them. Okay, this is looking great. It's fairly tender now. Let's get in there and shred. For our cabbage slaw, we're gonna start with our dressing. Add the lime juice to our bowl, a tablespoon of white vinegar, a pinch of sugar. Go ahead and add the oil. Whisk that up. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. We have a lot of flavors going on in our tacos, so we want to make sure that it has a really nice texture, a nice bite, but the flavor is not over the top. Let's add our cabbage, about a half cup scallions, and a half cup cilantro. Toss our salad until all the cabbage is nicely dressed. Now we're going to start on our refried beans. A pound of rinsed dried pinto beans. Cover this with about three inches okay. of water, half an onion, just like this, mm -hmm. and two cloves of garlic. Cover it and let it hang out until it heats up. Okay, now that our beans are brought up to a simmer, we're going to season our water with salt. Last of our beans into our bowl. Let this liquid stick around for a little while because we're gonna use that to loosen up the beans when we're blending. And then we're gonna add our beans. Add two chipotles in adobo. Sure. Let's blend it up. Cool. Got it. Now we have to fry them. I've got vegetable oil. Drizzle it in. Some onion. Garlic. 
mix them around a little bit. I'm gonna add some cumin, we'll add our beans. Spread these out a little bit. A lot of salt. Yeah, let's do a big heap of it. We'll give that a stir. All right, our beans are done. Good stuff. Awesome. Moving on to our punch. We have our beautiful punch bowl. I have a lime aid concentrate. Pour this guy in. Now this is super concentrated, very, very sweet. To dilute it a little bit because it's so pungent right now, you're gonna add four cups of water. Now for our tequila, I'm gonna add the whole thing. I'll get it in there. We used a cup of that beer for our carnitas, so right now we have about 40 ounces of beer. All right. Woo! Mix it around. We're gonna garnish it. Look at that. Look at these wheels of lime. Isn't this beautiful? All right, our punch is done. It All is. we have to do is taste it. Ready? It's good. It's strong. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Strong. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that this dinner is going to be up your roommate's alley? You think this is their kind of stuff? I, I think they're going to love it. From the uh, from the tacos to the uh, tequila, I think it's a winner. I think you're going to win them over. Cool. You got this. Cheers. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I think Zach, my roommate, doesn't know my name actually. I just really want to impress these guys, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll see. Wow. Oh, wow. Is there a dinner party? Yeah. Hey, gang. Hi. What's up, buddy? Hey. Welcome home. Hey. What, cabbage? Wow. Nice. Oh some cabbage. Big cola. Yeah. 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 Cola's yeah. probably back. Beans. It looks pretty good. Ooh. Some onions sprinkled on top. Yeah. Is that pork? Mm. It is. And Ooh, a little fun punch. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Liquor in there? There is. Beer and tequila. Oh, oh my double whammy. <laughs> How do I feel about Will? Um, well, he's new. I don't know him very well. I'm a little worried about this. I'm gonna start with one. Me too. Okay. See how it turns out there. All right, cheers. Cheers. Wow. Family dinner. Thanks yes. I'm part of the family, right? Hey. First of <laughs> many, hopefully. Thoughts? It's good. I don't taste beer. I just taste. There's beer in there. Yeah, okay. but it's great. Mmm. Dude, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. That was that was delicious. I don't know what he Googled to make that, but this is incredible. I was gonna get street meat. Mm. It was very surprising. He has shown he can cook this quality of taco feast. It was amazing, such a phenomenal dinner. I'm shocked, I'm seriously shocked. So I think it goes without saying that we'll be expecting this every single day. Every day? I will require tacos every single day. So good, really impressed. You know, the last roommate cooked a hell of a taco, <laughs> but this, this stands up, man, I think you take it. You really do. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. I feel great. I'm relieved. It was, uh, it was a success, for sure. I'm sincerely proud of Will. I think he won over his roommates. I'm slightly concerned that he's going to have to cook for them now a lot more than he initially bargained for. But that's not my problem. So see you guys next time. wasn't it? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hey, check out the recipes at thrillers.com.